Hello everyone, this is one of the chapter where we are going to discuss interview questions on inheritance. Before uh, going through this video, you must be going through our previous video where more interview questions have been discussed. Please go every question one by one thoroughly. Uh, it is expected prerequisite for this chapter is you must know concept of inheritance. So let's start. The first question is what does inheritance mean in simple term? Inheritance means inheriting properties of parent to child or bringing properties of parent to child is called as inheritance. It's very simple. Next, why do we need inheritance in programming? We need inheritance in programming just to bring all the properties of methods, variables or everything of parent into the child so that people can use child and automatically they will get parent. If we don't do so, parent object they need to create and child object they need to create separately and two objects will be much taking much more space. Therefore, go with the subclass object and use everything. So this is what the reason we need to go for inheritance. Next, how do we make inheritance happen? We need to use extends keyword. We need to have, I'll, I'll show you this thing. So what are the things needed? Parent you need, child you need, and extends keyword. So these are the three things, one, two, three. These are the three things needed for implementing inheritance. So question was how you implement. So these are the three things you need. Next. <clears throat> Can you explain the extends word in easy way? Yes, extends means extending a functionality of something. Means extend means dictionary meaning is increasing. So let's say there is class A. Now it has 10 features. You want to extend those features means you want to add some features into it or some features you want to replace. Then you need to go for inherited. Extend means increasing. So you need to answer this in a term where the purpose of your answer should show that something is increasing, something is replacing, some value has been added into the existing thing. That's why we use inheritance next give an example of inheritance in real life that's easy to understand it's very simple if you speak about the human beings there is a papa parent and there is child father and son father and daughter these are the very basic example of inheritance these are the real life examples so uh, or maybe you can say uh, there is something called one speaker is there and we use woofer along with it so speaker and woofer so speaker features obviously comes into woofer but bass is added only bass and treble is getting added into the main sound so that is what increasing a feature so these are the real time examples you can say so we'll see next question so what are the types of inheritance so types of inheritance if you go with single inheritance that is simple inheritance then multi-level multiple inheritance hierarchical in inheritance, hybrid inheritance. These are the five types of inheritance. Everybody should know. Next question is, why can't we use multiple inheritance in Java? So there are two reasons to do that. Why that happens, why it is not allowed. One is super keyword that you should be remembering. And another is uh, diamond problem. Now, what is this? See, first of all, try to understand meaning of multiple inheritance. When there are multiple superclasses and single subclass, that is called as multiple inheritance. When there are multiple superclasses, they will be having constructor. When there is single subclass, it will also have a constructor. And when class A, class B and here class C. So this is a diagram of multiple inheritance. It also has constructor. These people will also have constructor. And every constructor will have another word that is automatically added that is a super. So what is going to happen in this case? This will call this constructor or this constructor there will be a confusion and that's why java stopped us from doing this complete concept they have stopped us another reason here is diamond problem means let's say there is class a then b then c then d so this is one of the diamond now in this case Let's say there is some method called m1 here. Let's say there is some method m1 here. You create object of class D. 
this is printing hi, this is printing hello. Now the question is, if you create object of dd new d, d dot m1, whether it will print hi or hello, that was a problem. And here you can see this is a diamond. Therefore, Java says, therefore, Java says, due to this diamond problem, we will not allow to use multiplication inheritors. Even if here it's m1, then it is inheriting to both m1, b and c, and then which method of b or c will be inheriting to b, that was a problem. Therefore, Java stopped us from using multiple inheritors. So, in this question trick is, first of all, if you are a fresher, you should be telling reason of multiple, in, sorry, definition of multiple inheritors. Then go for reason. There are two reasons, super and diamond problem. Both reasons are very, very important. Coming to next question. Next question is, do all programming languages avoid multiple inheritors? Answer is no. Only Java is doing that. Other than that, C++ is allowing it by using a friend function. Python again not allowing, but it is only Java which doesn't allow, but other languages may, may not be allowing it. Python don't allow, C++ allows it. Allows it means there are some functions to, there are some ways to use it. So this was one more question, very important. Another question is, can we do inheritance in Java without saying extends? Answer is very clearly no. No, we cannot do that. We have to use extends keyword for performing inheritance. So the next question is, how does the idea of superclass reference and subclass object work in Java? Try to understand this question. Let's say A is superclass. Let's say A is superclass. And this question is asking like this. Means subclass object and superclass reference. Try to understand the concept. They are asking you, make us understand this concept. Means they are saying why it is better. Why should be, uh, you, you should be using this protocol. Why you should not use this. This is a question. So the answer for it is, this is the best idea to do. This is not best idea to do. Why? Because here you are relying on this. Here you are relying on subclass reference. Here tomorrow, today it's B. Tomorrow it will be new C. Tomorrow it will be new D. In that case, this reference will not get impacted. In this case, if it is new C, then you should be writing C, C over here. In such cases, if you call methods with B, then those methods might not available in C. But here, whatever method does this A have, these methods will be inside B, C and D. So guys, this question is very important. You should be explaining this very, very properly. So with this, we'll be meeting you in next episode. That will also be of the inheritance, which will be very, very important. There will be a lot of questions on inheritance, which I cannot cover in the one video. So let's move for the next episode. Thank you.